guys. So I'm trying to get better at doing this thing on YouTube. I'm trying to post some videos at least maybe twice, two to three times a week. I don't know exactly what all of the content will be, but it will vary between things that I've already been doing, such as um, sewing and crafting and cooking. I'm hoping to do more cooking than anything else just because it's part of my daily life and it is kind of um, just the general dose of what goes on with us. So I'm um, headed home now and trying to do this vlogging thing and sitting, not really sitting, usually traffic is terrible where I'm at right now, but it's not too bad. Um, so anyhow, I thought I would just check in. I just left Trader Joe's after a, a doctor's appointment today. I left early from work and then went to the doctor and that's always fun. And now I'm headed home from there. There's a Trader Joe's right by my doctor's office. So anytime I do go, I like to try to just swing through there because the closest one to me is like 35-ish minutes, depending on traffic. And basically traffic always sucks, so it's not normally 35-ish minutes, it's more like 45 to 50, so that's that. So yeah, I do like to go there though because I like to buy their fresh pizza dough and I was excited because since I was out there and everything, I thought I would make pizzas when we get home um, and the kids always like that. So I think the last time on my last video I posted, I misspoke and said that my kids were 13 and 8, but I... Like I said, I'm a spoke. They are def definitely not, and my daughter called me out on it <laughs> after watching my video. And they are 13 and 18. So, anyhow, that is where we're at with that. So I'm going to go home, and my kids will make some pizzas. And um, we're finishing up our Christmas break still. It is the first week of January, but they are lucky and get an extended break. And we never had that when I was a kid. I'll just say that. Um, so yeah. That's where we're at, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, film a haul when I get home. It's a very small haul. I literally spent $35 at Trader Joe's, so as you know, that's not a whole lot. I think I got some things like Brussels sprouts and some seasonings and things like that. So I'll be back and I will show you what I got. Okay, so like I said, I am back and I'm gonna go ahead and film my Trader Joe's haul. I did stop at the butcher and get some meat too, and I'll just show you what I got. Um, it's a local butcher in our town, and so yeah. Um, I always look for if they have the bacon ends and pieces um, because they discount it a little bit, and I like to use it for recipes and. I render the fat and save it because it is delicious plus their bacon is the best I've never had and I'm, I'm I like pretty much any bacon but that is my favorite and yeah I did get a teeny tiny little um, boneless strip steak I'm the only one who really eats steak in my family so I figure I always I like to get it for myself and just cook it on the cast iron skillet and I did get five pounds of ground beef they do discount it if you order five pounds or more and I like this butcher because I know that I can trust them to source their products. I don't know if it's just grass-fed only, but I do know that they are um, humanely raised, and and I also like the atmosphere there. The people are nice. It's a small family-owned um, butcher, and it is my favorite. So anyway, while I was there, I did pick up some pineapple slices because we're gonna make some pizzas tonight with some pizza dough that I got from Trader Joe's, which I will show you in a minute. And we like pineapple and pepperoni on our pizza, and then I got a little jar of A1 sauce I got that strip steak and I like A1 sauce. So that's it and I'm out. So anyhow, um, from Trader Joe's, I did get some things. Try not to be too noisy with the bag. I got this birthday cake popcorn, which my daughter already looked at too, but she can't wait to try it. And it is really good. It's more vanilla and fruity pebbles like to me than it is birthday cake, but it is really good. Okay. I got this mozzarella cheese because we're gonna make some pizzas tonight. Here are the pizza doughs. They don't look very um, friendly in this wrapper, but they always come out pretty nicely. So not too worried about that. I need to get two of them because we are going to make two pizzas. And then I got some frozen Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna roast with some bacon. And then I got this um, uncured black forest ham. 
I do like this. It's really good and it just feels better eating it. Take all this stuff out of the bag. Um, I got some chow pepperoni for the pizzas that we're having tonight. And then I got this Green Goddess um, salad dressing. I've never had it, but it says it's got avocado, lemon, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. And I've heard that it's really good, so I want to try it. Um, and in this bag, let's see, almost done here, honestly. I just got a, a few romaine hearts. I got these Trader Joe's Slim's chocolate and vanilla sandwich cookies. They're very thin and crispy. And then I did get these two containers of seasonings. I got the 21 seasoning salute, which I've heard really good things about. And then of course I got the everything the bagel sesame um, seasoning blend. And this is delicious. This is pretty much mostly the reason why I need to go to Trader Joe's. It's usually what starts everything there. For me, I know. I like everything that I get, but that's usually what drives me there. <laughs> and then I got some pizza sauce for the pizzas tonight. And I think that's it. Yep, there it is. So, um, all said and done, let me see, I spent $32 and some change, sorry, $2.53 at Trader Joe's. And then um, I think I spent maybe $25 at The Butcher. So, I am a happy camper. So, that is everything I got from The Butcher and Trader Joe's. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So stay tuned for more and we will talk soon. Thanks. Bye.